Hi and welcome to this video on the new features we've added to Shogun Post as part of the 1.3 update. So I've got Shogun Post loaded here and you can see I've got my character um, that's been retargeted. One of the features we've added is this uh, gap list. So if you go to Mark Editing you can see uh, a list of all your gaps that are in the, uh, in the scene. You can also search these by length so you can um, reorganize them the way you'd like. And if we look here, we can um, select a gap here in the list, and that will automatically get updated on this side in the graph view. So here we can see this gap here, and so on. This is a way to very uh, quickly go through and, and edit any gaps that might be in your uh, scene. And we've also added a tool here. As part of the rigid fill tool, we've got an auto select markers for fill. Now what this will do is it will look at any markers that are surrounding the uh, marker that's been filled and try and match its trajectory. So basically the movement of those markers, if, if they're similar, then it will use that, uh, those markers to form the rigid fill. And we can demonstrate that here if I just click on fill rigid. So here we can see it's actually done a rigid fill on the selected markers. And here it's shown us the markers that it's used to fill across that range. So it's a, again, it's a, it's a process for very quickly filling gaps um, that may be in your data and using a rigid fill tool to do that.